All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that is Wednesday night, which means it is D&D &D night. I'm very excited for it. It's House of the Living Dead part, not one, but two. This game is brought to you by Gemhammer. This game is brought to you by Gemhammer. Gemhammer and Sons Gaming. More better game stuff. You can go to gemhammer.com and uh, save up to 10%. Oh, I am. I am. But I have I, I have responsibilities, man. I got responsibilities. You can go to gemhammer.com and use the code SCARSUP and save 10%. That is S-C-A-R-V-E-S-U-P. S-C-A-R-V-E-S-U-P. On gemhammer.com. Slash shop and save 10% on everything. Um... Any music tonight would be here would be from gem would be from uh, tabletop audio. Uh, the game is on roll twenty. The uh, voice is on Discord. All right, and and uh, now with no without further ado, finally, uh, we go over to Kamari with recap. Yeah, zero. <laughs> Is there, yeah, is there, you know, no, it's, yeah, it, it, it'll, it'll be Zeronis. <laughs> stuff happened. What type of stuff happened? What type of stuff happened? I don't care. See surrounding us, um, they uh, started beating on the doors after the first watch. Uh, what else? Then uh, kind of gathered at certain positions and saw a giant fist break through the door. You forgot and... it's not Capo's fault. When is it my fault? Not both of you. Continue. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, he was able to break down the door, but he couldn't uh, hit the broadside of a barn after that. We had brought the horses inside, and uh, they got very startled and tried to unintentionally attack Kamari. Thankfully, uh, Zari, uh, Meru was able to Calm the horses. Uh, Sworn shot Ravelin. Yeah, I kept going down. Don't forget, I lost half my health to stop the impending stampede. You did. You did. I'm sorry. And, uh, and Tavo is just surrounded, and he's loving it. <laughs> yeah, wait until you see where I get to hit from you, though. You won't love it so much then. Not sponsored. <laughs> mm -mm -mm, I'm loving it. And uh, after shooting Ravelin, Serenus decided to run and exit the building. Stage right. No, it's actually stage left. It's actually stage. Yeah, it's stage right. Little, do, yeah, little does the party know he's run, he's not running away from the zombies or trying to lure them to to get a better advantage. He's just trying to avoid the incoming punishment. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh yeah, you've got the most important thing. Serona shot Rav in the back last week. He, he said that. Oh, he said that. Oh, he did. Serona shot Rav. Yeah. I'm Stop sorry. Harping on it, Tavo. You next. <laughs> I actually, meant, actually meant to it twice. <laughs> See, he'd probably shoot you deliberately. At least with me, it was an accident. And I not won the damage. Thank heaven. Can, can we just put the crown on the MVP from this at the moment, Yog? Who made sure that doorway did not falter? Yeah, y'all, y'all just hold, 
Yogg was holding Can we that. Put the crown on Yogg later. We are 45 minutes late to start. Yes. Sorry. And, and we go back into the tar zombies turn. All right. First things first. Zero. You get yeah. a D10. Ooh. Oh. Thank you. Now to speed this up, not really having realized this was going to be a thing, I had already pre-rolled their uh, resurrect their resurrection, so they have already risen back up. And this one way over here. All right. First things first. I just realized what inspiration die. What? Are you asking what inspiration die you just got? No, where do I put it? Oh, just put in your, just put in your like... inventory. Oh, okay. Thank you. I usually create an inventory slot called Goblet of Inspiration that glows brighter the more inspiration I have. I just put I just put them in by numbers. I think that's what she meant, Tavo. Mm. Well, Saronis, you have attracted attention. Yep. Uh, That's a lot of attention. As soon That's as the person... Good. Wait, out of curiosity, can they reach me through the window right now? Uh, the first three can. Okay. I'm going to use that uh, sneaky rogue trick. Oh, geez, Saronis. What? You I'm popular you. for once in my life. <laughs> the thing is, the, the thing that came to mind was popular. You're going to be popular. Don't, don't sing that. My, my boss likes to play that damn song. <laughs> and that was horribly off tone. Kind of the point. All right. Starting from the left. No one here claimed to be able to sing. <laughs> Tar zombies on I, I can kind Tavo. Of oh, jeez! Oh, that's uh, two hits. No, Apparently one, the zombies don't like no, your singing. Actually, you know what? No. It's no hits. I still have two... Uh, crit always hits. Crit always, uh, hit. uh, yeah, uh, crit always yeah. hits. But that's only She'll one hit She'll only then. give you immunity to magic missile, not crits. Yeah, and that's only and that's only one hit. A twenty one meets. Okay. So that, so is, that is uh nine eleven uh That's twelve damage. Yeah. Plus well, so I believe a roll it is in order. No. Uh -huh. Not no? No, no, no. Okay. That's, that's only for that's only for us. Uh, yeah. That's only for, okay. Yeah. We we just we determined after the first <laughs> time that we are not giving the zombies the uh the deck of critical zombies. success. Yeah, the critical success rolls. <laughs> All right. So let's From see. Jim how, many are at, how many are at zero? One, two, three, four, five at zero. Bring it on. Oof! Oof. All right, roll 20. I see how this is going. That's two crits on zero. They want to kill me. Apparently. So that is 14 for the first hit. I don't think a 17 hit. Or does a 21 hit you? 
Uh, I think my armor class, you said. Oh, is a 21. Your armor class is a 21, so a 21 meets, so that doesn't happen. So you took a total of 14, 18, 26 damage total. How much damage? 26 total. Oof. Now at Ravelin. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, uh, thank, thank you, Meru. So I think. Do any of Do any of those hit Ravelin? Yeah, no. What's your AC, Rav? Twenty-one. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, we all, all right. we all owe Meru a big thank you for the ma for the master cra crafted Gambison. For the master crafted Gurius. Revelin, you've got a lot of touchy feely friends. Ravelin. Point to talk. I had a face full of chicken. Ah. Hand of Radiance. Okay, so seven radiant damage. They fail the save. So that is one, two, three, four, five. Six. Alright, so two pass. Seven? Oh, seven. And just to verify, we um, said that thing that I suggested would not work fallen based on the wording of it. Uh, probably not. But you'll never know until you try. Okay, that's... That's five. Six. And that is seven. Then I'll my, take my usual disengage in place... Action. Okay. And I'm going to hit the guy right here between zero and I. Alrighty. That is a hit. Zero. Oh, come on, Celeste. Don't you use her name. <laughs> Are you sweeping attack? Yes, I am. Are you choking up so as not to catch Ravelin in the 10 foot reach? Yes. Okay. So. Only the five immediately adjacent to you will take the hit. Yep. Oh, wait. No, wouldn't he? If you're not doing the 10-foot reach, only the ones immediately adjacent to you will, will get hit. If you do the 10-foot reach, you'll hit everything in two within two squares of you, but that includes Ravelin. Uh, okay. You're still, you're still sweeping. You're just choking up on the handle so that you don't have your full reach. Got it. That is a hit. Mm -hmm. Mm 
You're dead. You're dead. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's what you're going for, right? Yes. <laughs> so I actually had a I actually had a professor in college that reminded me a lot of Dr. Cox. <laughs> That's awesome. Alrighty. I don't speaking want you to be dead of, either. Speaking of, Leroy is going to take his shot at uh, one at Tavo, one at Meru. Nope. Does that hit Tavo? Nope. No, I believe that's. that's it does not. And Meru. I take it that hit Meru. <laughs> I, I think Meru's laughing at it. Just making sure. Usually F is uh, F to pay respects. Yeah. Horses are fine at the moment. Alrighty. Top of the order. Cowardly Kaiball. <laughs> that is totally offensive. I am not being cowardly. I am being intelligent. Then why is then why is your belly yellow? Ooh. Says the guy who is glowing gold from. All the right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's go. Yeah, time. Okay. Sorry, my fault. Um, it's not your fault. Don't worry about it. Z zero. I am going to do something <laughs> mildly foolish. You mean more foolish than already? You're a it, it, Yes. It's kind of your, it's kind of your thing. Tavo, why are you doing the foolish thing of talking in the middle of other people's turns? It's All excitement. Right. He's anticipating doom. Leave him be. I am going to use my action to take a pinch of the dust of dryness and literally just toss it at the tar zombie directly in the window. You don't have the dust of, dust of dryness, though. Actually, I did take it when we were dishing things out. I'm the one who grabbed it. Oh. My darling sister reminded me of such things. All right. Your darling huh? sister certainly doesn't have it. Well, it seems to have a very unusual effect. The tar does actually seem to stiffen a little bit. And the zombie doesn't seem to uh, enjoy it, though it doesn't seem to do anything really particularly bad against the zombie. So it's not slowing down, it's not... Did you just give the zombie more armor? That's what I'm afraid of. But yeah, as far as you can tell, not sure what happened. It just seems to have stiffened the tar up a bit. Okay, bonus action. The one I was just face to face with just got a facelift. Does it still have a face? One moment. Uh, there we go. There we go. Meru. Meru? 
Tybee in chat. Against two, Meru. Is he against Leroy? It's against Leroy. That is two hits. And he slumps again. If he gets back up again, try kicking him in j the jumblies. It worked on the wolf, man. Yog! Yog oh, has found another table to hide under. Yeah, I need some spells. Kamari, dog has abandoned you. <laughs> okay. Bye, dog. <laughs> I'm going to start with... Alright. Uh, you forgot to do the attack roll. There we go. So I, ha I have to go sheet to sheet, so I just wanted to be as efficient as humanly possible. Okay. Uh... Well, the the twenty six to hit is to the turd directly no, in front I, of me. I know, but the, then... the problem is at this level, your green flame blade does two different sets of fire damage. That's why I did the two different. Yeah, but yeah, you used the wrong whip, so you have to roll me the. the... Oh, I'm sorry. I did do the wrong one. And it's 2d8 fire for the actual green flame blade cantrip. So you owe me 3d8s. Did we not? Oh, boogers. I may not have adjusted. So just roll me two separate d8s. I'll add the first one to your actual attack, and then the second one to the secondary fire damage. Alright, so you did... Correction fallen. The fire damage is right on the cantrip. We're not level 11. It's It doesn't oh. start with the 8. Okay, so it, it's just... This is the level where it actually adds to both... To the initial damage as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then bonus action, zero shoulder flamethrower. <coughs> I have some plans. Yep. You have to warn me next time. My beard's going to get burned off. You knew this was coming, big man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We do, we do not affect a man's beard. I don't know which one you're using. I have the healing one on this side and the torch on this side. And... Well, the... I, originally, I was trying to keep you alive, and then I said, sorry, not sorry, and now you're going to set yourself on fire. I really, really don't like ghost stories. Are you going to be okay over there? Just help, Lenny. Tavo. At this point, I think she's going to be needing to help me. Um, is it an action or bonus action to take something from a downed, from a downed person? 
Uh, it would be a bonus action. Right then. And is Leroy technically down? Technically, uh, make me a sleight of hand check. Ah, crap. Hey! hey! Yeah! Yoink! <laughs> Frickin' yoink! <laughs> oh! All right, you have yanked it off of his. You have yanked the small pouch off of his neck, and something feels weird about it. Now, what weird are you doing as your action? Huh? What? What do you say, Fallen? What are you, what doing, are you doing, doing as your action? Oh, absolutely. I'm going to, uh... Mate, I'm going to, uh... I have a word I like to say. Ooh, Tavo, you're so lucky you're on stream, or else I would have come up with a great <laughs> word for you. <laughs> I know you would have. Oops, didn't mean to press that button. I meant to press that button. Oh, ho, ho! oh well then. <laughs> All right, let's start with more the is with me today. Holy crap! One, two, three, four, five, six. That is seven zombies. Ah, uh, don't get ten foot radius. That's why it's seven and not five. Okay. Well, and Leroy. And he rolls separately. I know. Ouch. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Yes. Dang it. Dang it. I'll take a double kill. Praise the Lord and pass the ammunition. Apparently I do that spell better than you do. <laughs> ah, they were just expecting you this time. But uh, that's way too slow to hand. And that's all the ones you got. Now for Leroy. The important one. Yes! That was a deck save, Fallen. Oh, that's right. It's a con save, isn't it? Shut up. Yoop. Sorry, Tavo. And yes, Mary, you get an attack of opportunity. I don't care. Now, you said it feels weird. How does it feel weird? It feels weird. Just in a offsetting way or it feels weird okay that's all i'm getting get to know all you know is you grab this pouch and it feels weird i didn't just grab it i yoinked it without anyone seeing it oh, watch no. your verbiage dear tavo watch your verbiage i know <laughs> oh, come on a nat a nat 20 is a yoink Oh no, you successfully yoinked it. Alright, as soon as he goes there. Whoop! <laughs> I love you, Meru. They're coming to get you, sir.
All right, Tavo, see how well you do. That is one, two, three, four, five. Six. Oh, no, that's right. Five. Right. Sorry. One, nope, two, nope, nope. three, nope. four, five. And then one at Meru. All no. Next up, the four at Kamari. First one does not have advantage. Miss. Next four, or next three do. Out. A hit and a crit. A 19 hits you? Mm-hmm. What's your AC? I, for, I knew I was forgetting one. No. All right. Now two at zero. Nope, nope. One, two, three, four, five at Ravelin. Ow. That's two crits on Ravelin. For Thanks, Schmitz. Yeah, for 14 and 16, respectively. 30? 30 total. Raz down. Question number: Are those at uh, advantage? Yeah, I, I am at twenty, so I do get hit by the uh, the first one. Oh, the first one that you was not at advantage. Okay, so then I'm good. Oh, All right. sugar, honey, iced tea. <laughs> Bravelin, death save. That's a fail. Yep. I'm keeping track of it on my sheet. We're good. Yep. Uh, well, I'm putting that there mostly so that the rest of the party can see it. Zero. You hear a uh, duck, and when you look over, Ravelin is now on the floor with the zombies beginning to pile on top of her. Uh, healing word. How many? What's what's? How many spell slots do you have? Uh, this is my last one. Yeah, I already spent one. Oh, okay. So. Well, I mean, if she's down, can I? Well, you can sweep first, and you will have your full 10-foot reach. I mean, it still doesn't matter, because nobody's within... Nobody's beyond 10, 10 feet. Well, you'll hit all but the three directly in front of Rav. All right, then I'm going to sweep first and hit that one to the left of her. See, that's the curse of having an AC that they have to crit to hit you, is when they crit. It hurts. Swing true. Yes. That does hit. Damage could have been better, but... Hey, 10 damage is 10 damage. Yeah, but mm -hmm. if you the boys down... And 
And then bonus action to healing word on Ravon. And don't forget, you can also move. As long as you don't move more than five feet away from the guy adjacent to you, you can. Uh, you won't take an attack of opportunity. So you can actually move to this square and then this square and put yourself in range for the three that are there. So just move right here and then... Okay. Yeah, and then healing word. That'll at least help Rav not, not get completely uh, surrounded like she has been. It was going all right the first couple times. Oh, you got the full that I can give you. Yeah, he is down, but it. But when he gets up, he's going to be right there. So he wouldn't have taken a uh, attack of opportunity anyway. And that's all for zero. Leroy, stay down. Leroy kind of gets back up, though he looks a little slower than he did before. Leroy, I said and stay he, down. And he throws everything at you, Tabo. <laughs> Bring it on. Son of a mother! <laughs> you have to bring it on to hurt you. Mid-sentence. Bring it on. <laughs> oh. You hit him and he just hits you for 30 damage. Congratulations. Oh, no, no, that was at Ta Tavo, sorry. I, I mistakenly said maybe no. He's throwing everything at Tavo. That puts me down to 20 in one hit. Uh, That was 30 in one hit, Tavo. I said that put me down to... Yeah, is does does it matter have a spell that it's aggro that they aggro on him? You took the necklace thing. That's probably have... what he's responding to. Fair enough. Yeah, and as a bonus action, he's going to try and yank that back from you. Opposed athletics check. Basically, he buries one of his <laughs> choppers in your in your Bring shoulder. Bring it on! Bring it on! That's a good spot for that. I'll take it. He wins, but I want he he wins the numbers, but I win naturally. Uh, what I'm going to say is you guys are struggling over it. He doesn't get it out of your hands, but you are definitely struggling to hold on to it from his strength. Fair enough, fair enough. But that means he's fully aggroed on me, which means that attacks of opportunity can be taken with Meru. Saronis, your fan club is following. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's have a party then. All right, this guy in front, biggest fan. Okay. And I'll sign him another one. Please wait, now loading. First one, not the second. Because <laughs> the second was just a misclick. Oh, I didn't see the first one at first. So yeah, nope, that hit. Damn, Sirotis, you managed to just get the number required. And on that note, I'm going to be still yelling, still making noise, still trying ba to get their attention. Bubba booey, bubba booey, bubba booey. Meru. Come on, Meru. Come on, Meru. Put him down. Yes. Yes. And that's what's eight. Oh, roll that D100. Roll that D100. Okay. 
Because that's what's advantage. I mean, he took a uh, swing at me. If this is Leroy, he's currently grappled. Yeah, he's grappling with me. So that is one. You're you're hitting into this, his this, back. Hey, this has came up multiple times. I'm waiting for no D100 roll, but Aww. Leroy does go down. Like dead down, or like for the first time since the fight began, he has actually fallen to the floor. <sighs> Meru, I could kiss you. I Are still you sure it. you want to do that? Because Kamari over there. <laughs> do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I'd pay to see that. Yog. <laughs> Even the chat's shipping it. <laughs> Oh, I love this. I love this game. Oh, no. Yog, no. Yog is mad. Is that, wait, is, is, <sighs> okay. that an, is, is that an attack with an advantage? No, but it's easily enough to put put it down. I want to roll the D100. Pack tactics. Oh, right. Pack tactics. Go ahead and roll the D100, Yog. Yes, roll that beautiful game footage. 31. That is... Your savage attack str has struck uh, into the heart of the enemies. They are stunned until the next turn. Uh, that's not going to affect the zombies. Okay. Against regular bandits, that would have saved Amari. Not against zombies. Well, that and it's... You dropped him, so he can't be stunned. But let's say into the heart of the enemies, not enemy. Yeah, but it doesn't say all the enemies who can see it are stunned, so it just seems like it's the one you hit. Although, Ch Chats, I kiss him. Charisma points will go up. Kamari! Yogg's not in my range, right? Right. She is, I think, 20 feet. Lovely. Yeah, 20 feet. I just measured. <sighs> that oh hits dear. all the ones in front of me. Oh yep, dear. that hits all of them. Mm -hmm. So that is six total. And they are con <laughs> saves. Mm -hmm. Only two saves. So we'll say the two in back are the only are the ones that take uh, half damage. It, did did, did some, Kamari just clap her hands together and it just? No, she just gave out the highest pitch, most girly scream you could ever imagine. <laughs> Like when two 13-year-old girls see each other at the mall. Ah. Oh. That kind of squeal. Uh, no, he, he vapes. <laughs> You're welcome, Mayru. <laughs> I forgot I pushed dead people, too. You push that... dead people. Honest question, did, uh, did I take hit points off of this one yet? Which one? Off of which one? Mm, yes. No. Yeah. Okay. I just hadn't pushed it back. 
And then bonus action! Off of zero shoulder. Flamethrower, go! <sighs> Don't huff at me, big man. You know this is coming. Grumble, grumble. Mutter, grumble. You only hit two because any further left and you would catch Rav in the blast. Yep, yep, yep. That's fine. I know it's a cone, so I only want to hit whoever's not going to hit Rav. Tabo. I'd like to have another word with him, please. Actually, let me just double check that this is what I want. Yes, it is. Excuse me. Wait till I'm... after combat. Wait till after combat to do the kissing. We still got a lot of stuff to do. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Have you heard about the word of more? If anything, that should keep Leroy down. And that is one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes! 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 Oh! You have ruined it! And, uh, well, that's going on. I'm going to bonus, I'm going to bonus action healing word level two. On myself. And I completely forgot I had, uh... Are you kidding me? I burned a level 2 on that. I'm actually going to... I forgot I had 6 HP, 10 HP points, so I'm going to put 6 back and take those... Uh, and take those away and then oh. add the 8 to that. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Yeah. That's fine. All right. Zombie's turn. That is... One, two... That's five. It... No. Oh, I'm... I, oh, 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 and... Uh, chat's get, being impatient. Oh. They want the kiss. Oh, well, chat has to wait. Chat does have to wait. I don't know where that sound came from, but it was absolutely fitting for what for Chad having to wait. Yeah. Murloc. Your lock? Murloc. Oh. The baby. Also, I don't know. General chat. All right. So, five at Tavo, and one at Meru. First one's at Meru. Nope. And the five at Tavo, who have advantage. Ow. No, wait. So if I use a shield, that that covers both of them, right? Yep. And it only burns one? It only burns one, because it lasts until the start of your next turn. 
Yep. And you have only done one before now, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, none of those hit. All right. One second, folks. Sorry about that. Somebody was yelling from downstairs. Next is uh, the ones at Kamari. And unfortunately, they're going to have advantage. All of them? Yep. Fortunately, I think only... Possibly one hit. Do you want me to roll the D100 first? Uh, yes. And tell me the result. 28. 28. Well. Kamari gets a D6 inspiration die. Well, not just Kamari. Everyone? It's your target's allies within 30 feet, so... That's Yogg, Ravelin... Oh, and Zero. Uh, yeah. Yogg, Ravelin, and Zero all get... I'll get one. I think it's one, actually one lower that had the aura, but... Same difference. A D what inspiration dice? D six. D six. Is that a, is that just for this battle or is that a perma? Like use when uh, you want. That's until the end of the fight. Okay. No, she can't. And then you took 13, 13 damage. All right. Oh. Three of these are at zero. Four of them are at Rav. The ones at zero. Was... One's at zero first. Wait, there's only six. Uh, no, sir. If you look, there are two above you and one below you. And that, unfortunately, the 23 has advantage. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and then three at wrap. Sorry, I did miss yeah. it. So that's a... Uh, ten, ten damage ten, for me. Yep. And then the three at Ravelin. Oh, oh. Sorry. Raz down again. They up. They're up. We see and her. We see her. She's down. Revelin. Death save. Yog left, so they have to do it to somebody. Pass that one. I'm good. Okay. So if you uh, have three successes, do you get back up? No, you no, stabilize. No, you stabilize at one HP. If she not twenty is a death save, no. she gets back up with one. Yeah, you don't stabilize at one hit point. You just stabilize at flat zero. Yeah. Because one zero. hit point means you stand back up. Zero. There's now nothing stopping you from sweeping. Come on, big boy. <laughs> she's not down. She's just ducking for big man. That's true. Oh, that's a hit.
Anything else, Zero? Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't have any bonus actions, so nope. I have a healing potion on my belt. Can he feed it to me? He can. I think he also has two healing potions. He may want to use one on himself. Yeah, yeah get yourself first. Isn't that it's an, an action? action to feed someone a potion? It is a bonus action to give yourself a potion. Yeah, let's take it to Well, six is better than nothing, Zero. Baloney. And it's Leroy's turn. The corpse Leroy? twitches. It does what now? Saronis. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, why you know why are you scaring me, Fallen? That guy seems to like his position up front. Let's show him why it's a bad idea. <laughs> it's still standing. What? So am I, so haha. -ha. Meru. <coughs> Which one are you attacking? Left? I mean, either or. So the... that is... Eight and five. Uh, are you attacking the one to the left? Yeah, he's attacking. He's attacking the one to the to his left. Oh, okay. Because if you weren't, that would give you an advantage. No, you've been casting spells, Tabo. Yeah, and they've been engaging yeah. with me though. That doesn't matter. You have to physically engage them in melee. No. Oh. It's the fact of if you're not actively hitting them back, they don't have to worry about you stabbing them if they turn to deal with me. Yes, cantrips do not count as, unless they're a melee attack cantrip, they do not count as uh, engaging for the purposes of advantage. Yog. Kamari. Well, poop. I'm going to start by activating the turret on Zero's shoulder and yell, Big man, move your beard! Got it. And that should uh -huh. go right over Rav's head. Yeah, I'll give it. I'll give that to you. So that's one, two, three, four. So you hit all but the one directly south of zero. Is it bad now? I'm having flashbacks to Lord of the Rings. Not the beard. Uh. 
I don't get it. The dwarf, not the beard. Never saw it. Gimli. Remember, he hasn't seen Lord of the Rings. We need to have a we need to have a movie night. If we're gonna do Lord of the Rings, that's more of a movie day. Just ask me and Jackie. We've done it. Ah, you have completed the Iron Butt contest. <laughs> All right, Kamari. Five pounds of wings. Um. Hey, big man. Mm-hmm. I don't know if if this is gonna happen before or after the like really awful zombies, but if you can like drag Rav away, that might help. Okay, thanks. Bye. Oh, well, that hits. I, that every is... time I see the GF whip, I, I it always picture it as gr- girlfriend whip. I'm like, wait, no. Well, Which... I mean. <laughs> I, I mean. Uh, I'm, assuming, I'm assuming you're adding the three to the initial attack. Uh, yeah, that would be great. And can Which the fire way? hit the one above him? To the north, yep. Anything else? That was action and bonus action. That's all I got. Do you want to try and move? These things have critted me twice. You can move, you'll take attacks of opportunity, but they won't have advantage on those because you're no longer surround you're no longer flanked. Well, boogers. Um God, if I go down fallen, I'm gonna hate you. Sure. Well, it doesn't have advantage, so you would only take six damage. What's my movement speed? 40? Base uh, speed is 40 for Tabaxi. Kamari, I wouldn't go that way. I'd come back I'd come back to us. Come back to actually, the if she, Actually, if she goes that way, she'll end up just on the other side of the counter, and they'll have to walk around to get to her. I'll do that then. Well, no, I was saying if you're going the way you're going, Kamari, you'll end up on the other side of a counter. They'll have to walk. They'll you have can to walk Dukes of Hazard. Hazard. They can't. Oh, I'm totally Dukes of Hazarding <laughs> straight over that table. I just then, see Kamari then, running and just <laughs> jumping over the bar like, yipe! Then Kamari twins are, in, are up to a whole heap of trouble. Tabo. I think we all know what I'm going to do right now. Spread the try word. To talk them again, try to talk them to death again. Oh, no, he's just spreading the word. The word bird. is Joe. Oh. Hey, Meru, if I leave here, are you good? All right, let's see. Do I have any healing potions? I should. I don't. I have no healing potions. Altavo, a bunch of them just disappeared. I fried them. I fried them good. Hold on, I'm not done yet. Bonus action? Uh, actually, yeah. Uh, can I, is dash is a bonus action, correct? No, dash is an action. Oh, okay. 
Only rogues can dash as a bonus action. Well, I, I'm a, I'm a tank. What do you want? Uh, is there anywhere I could go that I could see Kamari or Rav within my thirty foot range? No. Kamari's fine. Help Meru. Alrighty, I'll just stay put. Okay. You literally could just feed me one of my potions. Uh, and move well, yeah. Well, I can't. Yawn. I can't. Uh, I have an at. I only have. It's an a act. bonus action. It is. I thought it was an action it's to feed. A potion on their belt. It's a bonus action. Then I do that. Yeah, the only reason it's a bonus action on on uh, Zero, or the only reason it wasn't like an action and a bonus action for Zero is because Zerab is down. He actually has to manhandle her to get the potion off. Yeah. And if you wanted to move, if one of them actually hits you, I can actively negate the damage they're going to do to you. So you can move if you want to take the chance of being hit. Yeah. So roll the potion. Uh, uh, Meru, if you will. I only have standards on me. Well, that's still eight. That's still eight HP. I'm gonna move up here. All right. And uh, I'll take the bonus. Yeah, I mean, neither of them hit. Well, the second one was technically at advantage. And I'm gonna say no. I'll I'll burn the last one. Don't. Don't, no, because you might need that, and I can just do this. Because we got a level up recently. Hey, Fallen. It's mm -hmm. back. Well, Interception. Yep. Alrighty. The old tool comes at you, and you just see Mero's short sword. Let's just shoot up into the way and catch it before it hits you. Go. Help Yogg. And so I do. What is healing word? Uh, you've already used all your actions. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, you you used an action. Oh, bonus that is action. my bonus action, right? Fair enough. Sorry. D just, I'm pretty sure Fallen's going to target Yogg because when he said the table makes him have to go the long right way, there's a closer target. <laughs> I know Fallen too well. Well, on the upside, two of them won't be able to go anywhere near Yogg because. They're, just, they're using their full movement to stand up. Yeah. It was when I measured these guys, they were actually in range. And next up is the ones... Checking something. Oh, they all need to roll. That is... One, two, three, four, five. Excuse me. I haven't looked over at Saronis' situation. How's it looking? Still pretty bad. Got it. I mean, Saronis is cutting them pretty well. I just haven't been paying attention, so I'm like, how many are still alive? Go over. All of them. Got it. What is a five that are rezzing? Oh. But I still have um, Meru's throw a whole bunch of people that are in a straight line spell, too. The best part about that spell is it's not just people. It technically can throw furniture, too, because it is a gust of wind. Only people make the save, though. You got a table flip? Just use the uh, force. The bar is actually built into the yeah. wall. And it's just useful to note in case like, we get into a place where they're trying to crawl over a table, you can just slam them and the table into the ceiling to say just no. <laughs> if you're on the table, you don't get to make the save because the table's moving. Uh, All right. So, starting from the left, well, Mayor, you're now the only target. 
No advantage, advantage. <laughs> Next up is Yogg. No advantage, advantage. It only took one. Did Yogg just go down? I only had three hit points. I'm not far ahead of Yogg, so I get that. So yeah. Yogg's at one failed death save because the second one would have hit him because he would have been down. Yeah. It is an auto crit on unconscious. All right, same as before. Two at zero, one at three at Rav. Rav's down. Rav's down. Oh yeah, that's right. So it's just two at zero because the other two are out of range. So they don't have advantage because they're just getting back up, fortunately. And fortunately, they haven't noticed the downed Rav, so they're not going to take attacks at the corpse. Ravelin, death save. Maybe they're wondering why I'm not getting back up like they did. Look, why is the undead not getting back up? <laughs> yeah! Oh, so close. That was almost a stand back up. Zero. One good sweep could clear them all out for good and... Hey, would my inspiration that... die add to that and let me get back up? No. no. You you um, could you could make it so that it pa it goes from a fail to a pass, but that's it. So zero, one good uh, solid sweep would probably clear out all the rest of them. Just realized I was muted. Alright, let's do this. Swing. Swing, bada, 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 bada. swing, bada, 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 bada. That is a hit. Is that a quintuple kill? No. I think one has too many hit points for that to drop it. Mm -hmm. So that's one, two. I, I double it. kill. He's these still has one more to go through in hit points. There we go. Three kills. Triple kill. And Zero, with your bonus action, if you want, you can actually toss Rav away from the zombies. What did that, what did that, what did that give I, her? I uh, have a death? healing tonic. Could I use that? Yes. If he threw Rav, wouldn't that be a failed death save? He's not actively throwing her to hurt her. He's just picking up and, like, sliding her. Yeah, he's just... It would slide her out of their threat range because the next round they will actually notice her and target her. Five hit points. Woo. I fed her my healing tonic. So, Rav, you now have five hit points. Can I continue to play dead? Yes. Leroy twitches again. Don't worry, zombies. No. I just gave this dead body some water. It's all good. Good here. Saronis. Ooh, look. They're getting a little close. Uh, Can I go faster? This if, dude on the right? If only I had infused you with my spell instead of Kamori, because that's a lot of targets. That is a yeah. lot of targets. And they're all in a line, darn it. You could technically hit... All of them by aiming it like that, too. Mm -hmm. Do you not have chunk. anything that can do more than one target at a time? If yeah. I did, I'd use it. He's if a rogue he, fighter. Just if, he out, leads yeah. him if he leads him around the building, Kamari can just jump out a window. <laughs> hey, brother. To the side. <laughs> hey, Roni, hold on to your panties. <laughs> <laughs> um, not mine. They're wraps. Oh, oh, gross, 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 gross. So why, what else are you doing? Uh, shit. Uh, uh, shit. Shit. So the one still I think standing... he's going commando because I don't own any. <laughs> that guy. Now, question. Are you wanting to shoot him or are you wanting to use your bonus action to get further away? I mean, they're not in striking range, are they? 
No, but they keep getting closer. I know. I pay attention. What's your movement speed? Okay. They have 20 movement. I have baseline 40 and an extra 20 if I really need to dip out. Meru. Are you going to jump back in through that window up there? Maybe. I'm, <laughs> I'm contemplating. Meru, put, them, put those two down, please. Don't worry about Yogg. I'll take care of Yogg. Which one are you punching? All right. Yog is back up. I take it Yog is disengaging. Kamari. So Linny is still on the ground, right? Yep. You saw zero feet or something, but you don't know what it was. I'm going to start with my flamethrower, please. Not the beard, not the beard, not the beard, not the beard. Oof! Is that a negative one? That is a negative uh, one. They have a, they have a minus to their uh, deck saves. Cool. And then to the turd directly south of me. Burn, baby, burn. Just go in, Just go in burn. It sort of goes up, whoosh, and hits the ground. She just threw. She just did firebolt. Hit. And my salmon. Yep. What is this? <laughs> You've grown so much, Kamari. Anything else, Kamari? Squeal. All right. Tavo. All right, they are. It, it's an action to crap. It's an action to dash. It's an action to dash. I'm just gonna run on in here with uh, my hand out. Okay. Hey guys, guys! Did you hear the news? Uh, uh, have you heard the word? Bird, 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 bird is the word. I think he was referring to charge, not dash. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, and I'm surprised. And I'm Tavo. I'm so ashamed of you because you haven't used the classic cleric line. What? I bring you the word of my God, and that word is be gone. <laughs> I said be gone many times. <laughs> ah! Uh, did you mean to hit all the dead? I did not. <laughs> All right. One gives no flips about your uh, your word. The other seems a little shaken by it. And yeah, can I see? Can I see Ravelin be on the floor? You can see Ravelin on the floor. Ah, crap, Rav's down. You mogwai gwai fighty zow. Did you really want to yell that, Tavo? He did. Now Ravelin has five more HP. 
I didn't the know. The question is, did Sonus hear it? No, not from where he's at. Kamari sure did, though. Well, I mean, Kamari did see uh, Zero give Raph something, so... Tavo did not. Neither did Saronis. No, right. Saronis is in the window. Yeah, Saronis can't see anything. In that case, it's now the Tar Zombie's turn. So that is... Three towards me? Mm, maybe. But first... One gets back up. This one moves up. Another gets back up. All right, so it's two against Meru, three against Tavo. That's no for Meru. Does the 20 hit Meru? Meru's okay. 21, or uh, 22. Three against Tavo. First, first one does not have advantage. Nope. Next two do. Nope. Nope. Okay. And that is the Tar Zombie's turn. Ravelin. I am going to take a potion off of my belt and drink it. As you stand shakily on, as you stand up on shaky legs. Does she stand up? Is a question. Well, at this point, all the dead around her seem to be staying dead. Yeah, but. And after I have drank the potion, I will carefully stand up and look around to see what I missed. Well, the number of dead in the in the building seem to have decreased dramatically. I mean, the number of dead stays the same. The number of dead walking dead has decreased. Zero. Oh, Ravelin, did you want to move? No, she stood up. That was her mm -hmm. moment. It took yeah. ha that takes half her movement. Oh. I always thought it took half. Um, yeah. If I... Standing up is half my movement. Taking the potion was my bonus action. Can I still, like, cast a spell or something? Absolutely. Am I, going to hear, am I going to hear a bell? No. They are going to hear a bell. Um, I can't see the one below him, so I'll just go for the one here on the corner. That's genius. So, Instead of taking eight, they take eight because they're missing hit points. They take eight or eight. How about oh. eight? <laughs> How about none? Darn it. That's okay. Zero. There's the smash. Go get him, big man. Uh, which one has the most health? I, I can't see the bottom two. Well, the one with the green dot has died and stood back up. The other two haven't. Does Zero have the mobile feet? The what now? The mobile feet? I don't believe so. 
It gives you an extra 10 feet of movement, and if you make an attack on an enemy, whether or not it hits, you can move away from them without taking an attack of opportunity. I just remembered that was something you said you wanted to get, and I wasn't sure if you'd done it yet. So you get a charge. Can I have my shield down so I can be, like, bracing against it? So Zero could smash it? Smash uh, it? No, he, into it? He, he can't sweep. He can only charge. No, no, no. That's and what you... I mean. No, no, no. That's what I mean. Like, he charges, and I hold my shield down, and it's like it's like hitting a wall. Uh, He would steamroll you if that happened. Yeah, don't, don't, let's not do that. There's an idea. Make your attack. What? Oh, that's what? it. This damage. I'm pretty sure that's a kill. No, not in that one. Oh, yes, yeah, it one. is. And I. Leroy doesn't twitch. That Leroy doesn't twitch? Seronis! I just Alrighty. heard you that right, right? Alright, can we, can we do break? Yeah. Ten, the top of yeah, the tab of the order is 10. Please, okay. I am actively one. fading at this point. I need to stand up and move. Yeah, alright, so uh, okay. we are on I'm break. Be back shortly. And yeah, I saw that we lost. The revs. New England Revolution. Yeah, I will be right back, ladies and gentlemen.
Alright, folks, just to let you know that this game is brought to you by Gem Hammer and Sons Gaming. You can go to gemhammer.com and use the code SCARVESUP, S-C-A-R-V-E-S-U-P, to save 10% off everything in the store. You can also, um, also the music, any music and sound tonight is from Roll20. And add to that... <clears throat> Add to that, we are, the music, the game is on Roll20. Did I say the music's on Roll20? No, the, the game's on Tabletop Audio. The music is, the, 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 the game is on Roll20, the music's on Tabletop Audio. My gosh. 22 weeks in a row I've done this. 22 weeks. You think I would have gotten good at this? Um, voice is Discord. Alrighty. I'll be back. I would I would buy it. I would buy that Marvel Avengers game, except that I uh have no money. Oh, yeah. Bozeman. Which means that, which means that he did a fantastic movie while he was battling colon cancer. Or if he, or if he did, or if he did, then it was, uh, well, I mean, that's the definition of a consummate professional. What else was he in? Oh my gosh, he's going to be in a, he, he, Ma, Re sorry, come on, go ahead. Yes. Dang, I didn't realize how big, uh, how, how big, uh, Chadwick Boseman was in acting. I mean, yeah, I know that he did, uh, Black Panther, but he was also Jackie Robinson in 42. Uh, he was James Brown in Get On Up. He was, uh, he was third good Marshall in, in, in Marshall. Like, he has some pretty big names under his belt. So, uh, we are missing a Meru, I think.
Zero just got back. So I was here, ready and willing. All right, going back. Now we go back. Hey, let me just unmute this. And now we go back to Fallen. Actually, no, we go over to Saronis as he kites and shoots. Take it away, Saronis. And does a darn good job of it. You missed that part. Right. You're kiting and shooting. It's kind of hard to screw up. We don't know how well you're doing out there. Yeah, we really all right. don't. All you uh, hear Colin, is all, all you hear is bangs. The first shot I was at this gentleman here. Okay. Is he still on his feet? Uh, yes. I said, "Damn." He's no longer on his feet. He is not on his feet anymore. And like that again. Meru. Somebody just drop out? Ravelin just dropped out. No, Ravelin's here. Everyone's here. Yeah, everybody's here. Oh, for some reason it looked like somebody dropped off the, the name list. Okay. I'm assuming you're punching left still. Yog. Yog is probably going to go hide under a table. Or run up and bite the one to your south. Or come over and help Meru with advantage. Well, Yogg has advantage no matter what, as long as there's a friendly within five feet. Oh, that's right. Pack tactics. Ouch! That's a hit. Good job, Yogg. You, you knock him out, kill him. Kamari. Okay. Um. 
I saw Roni go out the window. I've heard yelling in the vague general direction of around the building. And you've heard shooting. And I've heard shooting. So, Kybel's got to do. That's with my dash and arbitrary cat go fast. Did she just go out the window? Maybe. She just went. <laughs> she just went out the window and dashed off to the right, as far as you can see. Probably shouting Roni's name. Roni, 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 Roni. I swear to Tesco, Roni, I will skin you alive if you're dead out here. Well, given that you just ran and see me still standing, looking a heck of a lot better than you, by the way. <laughs> oh, that's what she said as she came out the window. Tavo! You know it, so just put the X over the X over the, the downed one. Oh, do your thing. <laughs> yep. Yep! Double kill. Hey, Sharon. Hey, hey, Zero. How you doing? Um. Um. Wait. <laughs> you know what? No. <laughs> no. They just sort oh. of flash with light and kind of crumble the dust next to him. You, uh, you, you can't do that. Oh. I thought everyone could do that. Sorry, Zero. Uh. No, nope, not gonna ask. Hey, Yog. Wait a second. Zero, did you see where, where Kamari went? Uh, I saw her on the other side of that table and then ran that way. Did you go out the window again? Yeah. Yeah. yeah and Zero, you can now see a very bloodied and battered dog. I'm debating. So. Hey, Kamari? Kamari cannot hear you. Well, Jack. Yes? How many uh, health potions does Kamari have? You'll find out eventually. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm debating. Alright, so I'm actually going to do something extremely stupid and try to follow them. No. Not a good idea. No. But you, you do you, boo. You can get to there. Well, I'm actually going to... You have no idea where they went. You saw them go out that window. So if you're following them, you have to go out that window. Alrighty. Can I just stick my head out the window when I get up there? You're not near it. Tar Zombie's turn. Well, hold on. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. My turn's not over yet. Do you have There's... a bonus action? Yeah, I do. For Yogg. And that completely, completely wipes me for spell slots, too. Are you sure you want to wipe set on Yogg? Yogg needs help. Yogg's not getting anywhere near combat after that. There's nothing uh, left to threaten Yogg. Alright, then oh, I won't. He's healed Yogg, so. Yeah, I cast it, it's done. Yogg gets, get gets 8 HP.
traveling. Are there any sounds of combat still in the inn? Uh, as far as you can tell, there is no. There are no active zombies around you. Oh, that's a motorcycle. I thought that was. Uh, I thought that was Cheeto. I'm gonna burn my bone. Um, my action, or I'm gonna dash to to here. I think you moved five. I think you moved one square to four. Yes, I did. As you come up to that corner, you see a forgotten uh, turret and Meru squaring off against one solitary zombie. It's also a very large zombie on the ground near them. With a pair of very big, very bloody cleavers. Is Meru, active, or Meru actually actively fighting this zombie? Or is it down? Yes. or? Nope, it's actively fighting her. Then I'm going to try and hit the zombie. Wow, it actually takes less damage because it's missing hit points. That's awesome. It takes no damage because it's somehow making its wisdom Sorry. save. Patrick once again comes in and says none, take it or leave it. Zero. Uh, I'm I'm gonna go hug Yog and pet Yog. Give Yog all the loving. That that that's it. Leroy twitches. Excuse me? You did actively say last turn he doesn't twitch. Seronis. First off, I'm going to look at my sister. What are you doing out here? Helping your butt. And as soon as she opens her mouth, I'm going to bonus action shove a healing potion in her mouth. <laughs> Rude! <laughs> So you get seven hit points back. Thanks, I think. And then I'm going to turn around, face that guy. And... That's it. And that's all I've got. Meru. I thought it was a great way to use that. <laughs> I love Meru's thing. Saving your... <laughs> uh, is Meru moving anywhere? Mayru is pretty sure this thing hasn't went down yet. It's just waiting for it to stand back up looking at it like, Come on, you're the last one. Get up. Yog. Yog is probably going to just sit there and get pets. No actions. Come on. What? Okay, brother. I'm going to try something a little um different. A little help from May. Cool. Okay. Ready? When I say so, go in the window. Um, what are you planning? Nothing. Come on. Sis. If you were all the hall, you should go in the window. Um. Wait a second. Why doesn't, why doesn't Cerrone's fly? 
Um, it's um, going to get windy. Because, Tavo, I wanted to stay in their reach. Give them, so, give them the Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> so what is Kamari doing? Do it. No, wait, do it. That way, he, that way he, he'll fly. I'm going to wait. You're holding action. Um, yes. Okay. Tavo. I believe that's all I can do. Ah. Tavo, what are you doing out here? Go back you, inside. You can't see me. No, but I can. Tavo, what are you doing out here? You yeah, they can see, see you from there, Tavo. Oh, they can? Yeah. The mist what are you isn't guys quite doing that out here? Thick. Literally, you're talking to a, at least one of us is basically a sniper. I can see you. The reason why I'm saying you're going to see me is because of how th thick the fog was described. Well, if that was the case, she wouldn't have known where Saronis was. Tavo, please go back inside. You guys need help. There's another thing left alive in there. Yes, and I'm trying to funnel them through the open window so we only have to deal with a few at a time. Everyone walking their dumb butts out here is not going to help that situation. Get back inside, please. Fine. Did you just say please? Yes. Yeah, he did. <laughs> you're so cute. What was that? Keep it up wow. You're going in airmail. So, what does Tavo do when he comes back inside? The kai balls are nuts. Have you guys, do you guys know that? I think that would get a unison response of, "Have you met them yet?" <laughs> we know the kai balls are crazy. Moving on. Yep. Apparently hey, they're gonna Saronis be. is probably I'm super actually, viable for you know dating I, me, but well, whatever. I'm actually I'm actually gonna say the plan that well, they have. You who are super viable for dating him? I get a pass on that. I die. Remember? Yeah, she, you're the one dating a dead person. <laughs> Technically, he's dating too. How <laughs> <laughs> could both of the Kaibalds end up with two people in their relationships? I don't know. At least she's picked us the the right party to to bow for. Do you get any gay vibes at night? Meru. That is just I mean, barely a miss. At least they share the same body. I was gonna make a joke. Depends on where he sticks. <laughs> hey! Family friendly stream, brother! Family friendly stream! <laughs> it's alright, it's just in the windows. Ah, uh, speaking about in the windows. Speaking about in the windows. Y'all need to get in the window! I love that I made that pun. <laughs> no, they back from the windows, we are using them as a funnel. I followed up, maybe. Ravelin. You have been told the Kybolds are going to bring them in through a window somewhere over here. Mara, you got that? How do we, like, kill it so it stays dead? So far, you just gotta kill it twice. I think this is the straggler that hasn't died yet. At least... He's just twitching and not standing up again, pointing at Leroy. He stood up multiple times. Like I said, you got that, or do you want some help killing it? Whatever Talvo did made it stay dead. He took something from it. Just... I mean, the, the one that's standing there in front of you that tried to hit it's you. Happened. I, I, I got there. this. I got this. You go deal with whatever window thing is going on back there. Okay. Well, they're not going to come in Tavo's window, from what he's implying. And the only other window that wasn't the one Saronis went out was the one that they're standing in front of now, as far as I know, so... Yeah, you, zombies um, have come in through both windows, but you know it's got to be one of those two, 
since Tavo pointed in that direction. I'm assuming you're going to bonus action dash. Oh, actually, if you bonus action dash, you can help help Meru despite Meru's protestation. No, I'm going to use my cunning action to dash, thereby getting a free bolt of the grave off on the dude that's in front of Meru as I'm running 60 feet away. Uh, that's what Fallout was just saying, is you can do that despite my protests. <laughs> Sorry, not sorry. Pretty much. Though it's just, hashtag sorry, not sorry. I just like my response. I got this situation normal, all left up. And as Revelin turns around and books it, a, a bunch of hands just sort of reach up and slap the, the zombie. <laughs> Zero. At least I can do is soften it up for you. Mm. You're being told that, that the kibolds are doing something and it involves windows over here. Yeah, I told I say the kibolds are doing stop, something stupid and he's like Okay. Well, it's not stupid if it works. So this is either going to be something incredibly spectacular or a colossal fail. So the kibolds. Yep. I, I so love I think it's probably have a, bait, a better chance to succeed, seeing as how it was kind of Marrow's idea in the first place. So you're dashing. Mm-hmm. All right. Leroy does nothing. I like how every time, like every six seconds, just Meru looks at Leroy. You getting up? Okay, good. Saronis. Ooh, uh, uh, ooh. Sidestep. And, uh, if that guy. If that guy in particular. Uh, the guy up top there. Anything else? Nope, that's all for the moment. Meru! Um, did Kamari use her held action? Nope, not yet. Please, for the love of Tezka, tell me she didn't just burn that by accident. Nope. A held action is just a held action. She wasn't saying what she was doing with it. Yeah. Well, usually if you hold a spell and you don't use it by the end of the round, it fizzles out. Anyway, semantics. Let's move on. Well, she's holding her action to use an item, so there's a difference. Wait, I am? Oh, well, that's essentially what you're doing. Oh. You have basically had a spell imbued into your body like a scroll. Oh, cool, cool. And with that, Mabry would just plant the sword nicely into Leroy and just sit on him. <laughs> just in case he decides to stand back up at some point. Yog. And he'll be wearing Meru like a backpack. A very angry black backpack who's just had enough of him. Come angry on. Back backpack who's just going to keep stabbing. <laughs> hey, Meru, what's the range on that particular spell? 30 foot line from self. Okay. 
Let me just do a little math. Hang on. Sorry, I keep forgetting the square. Hang on. Uh, from there, you would hit the first. I never said I was casting it from there. Yeah. No, I'm just saying from there, you would hit that, that group. I am going to use two sorcery points to turn a spell into a bonus action. And because this worked once already, I'm just going to shoot it and hope. Why? Why? Why, why, why? Where are you hitting from? Uh, right about there. It's a ten foot sphere. Okay, so from eight. This from this guy here. Yep. Hits eight of them. I'm going to do that for just a second. All right. I did use my arcane firearm. Yep. All right. So that's a con save. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, that didn't do anything. Sis, you really need to teach me that trick. Uh, eventually. Maybe. Sort of. Um, never. You give him a ring of shatter. He just snaps his finger and casts it. We'll talk about it. Do me a favor and take a step back. Uh, no. Because I'm going to hold my action. Colin? Yep, one moment. It's cool, it's cool. Doing all the damage. I get you. Uh, it semi feels like a waste given where you drop that if you cast it this turn, to say. Not my problem. I already cast it. I was referring to the whole held action. Well, I... too late. I already held it. Uh, you don't have to cast it now. Just pointing that out. Well, I'm going to hold it, and then if I use it, I use it. If I don't, I don't. Problem solved. Yeah. It was just the fact that I think you dropped a lot of them with Shatter, meaning you kind of lost the optimal cluster. All right. But to find a point on it, I think an optimal cluster is no longer the concern. It's literally just dropping them. Anyway. Moving Three. on. Two dead. Tava? Yeah. Kamari, anything else? Oh. Nope. Okay. I'm actively shocked. I thought more would have dropped from Shatter. Uh, just saying, if I die, it's because the people on the floor above me just dropped an elephant thing on my ceiling. A what? Elephant. Alrighty, you know, Mom. Big, gray. Are you dashing, Tavo? I can't. There's no undead within 30 feet. You can always take the dash action as an action. I don't Dashing know is an action. It's something everyone can do. It's part of the base mechanics. Oh, that's another Your gloves just allow feet. you to do it as a bonus action when undead are around you. That's another 60 feet, right? 30 feet, yep. right? Yeah. Yep, another 30 um, feet. And for a bonus action, I'm going to look in the bag. Uh, you don't really see much in there. Like, what do Whatever's I see? In... 
Oh, there's a little bit of glinting. Could be money. Could be something else. Can I pour out into my hand? Sure. Oh, no. Oh, no. (laughs) You have an artificer for this, Tavo. Uh, Do you pour it out into your hand? (laughs) No. (laughs) The the GM's voice gave it away. But by the tone. (laughs) Are you sure? Yep. Or is the GM just trying to be a turd because he's fallen? That's something you have to figure out. (laughs) It may be safer to pour it out on a table or something rather than your hand with that giggle. Um, Yeah. No metagame. (laughs) You were going to pour it in your hand. If you were going to do it, you should do it. Yeah. You know what? Balls to the wall. Let's do it. Pour it in my hand. Roll me a d12. I just poked myself in the eye with an eyelash, and I think this, that was still a better though. idea than pouring it in your hands. <laughs> Tavo, you see several purple crystals, and as they land in your hand, an overwhelming compulsion sort of fills your mind. To do this is the compulsion. Oh, no. Why do you all let him do stupid stuff, but when I try to do it, I get yelled at? It's usually when he's going to get yelled at, don't worry. This is bullshit. But yeah, Tavo, that thought becomes an overriding impulse in your mind. Now for the zombies. Oh, crap! Anything that is remotely magical, especially when the item itself seems been emanating Leroy, why would you even want to touch it? It's just my point there. Because I'm what an idiot. What energy is capable of making this thing stand up so many times? <laughs> I'm going to lose my eyes! I don't like how Ta- Tava went like, super quiet after <laughs> finding out. Uh. That one also a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> what was that? I like mine falling. Kamari, are you doing anything? Um. No. Okay. Ravelin. Can I see what Tavo's doing? Actually, I lied. Fallen, can I can I do the thing? You can do the thing. That's why I was asking because you were holding it as a reaction and they just moved close. Yeah, Zari, do you mind rolling the thing? I'm looking for it. Thank you. Also, I think you can easily see what Tavo's doing. It's just like, what, a chest-high bar? Yeah, he just pulled out this, what looks like a coin pouch, and emptied something into his hand. That's and I'm not much bludgeoning damage, and there's not an overhang on this roof, is there? Nope. But, if they fail, they are all knocked prone. Uh, first... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's eight or nine. That was nine. Yeah, no, it's eight. Nine would have been catching that guy. All right. Deck saves. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. So... One past. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven. <laughs> can, the one that, can the one that can the one that uh, got a negative one can they can they get extra damage? No, no. they just they take they full just... damage from the spell, not actual damage. I know, but like they land weird 
breaking something, making them make yeah, it harder for them. Yeah, they landed on their head. They now have a crick in their neck. Yeah, yeah, like something like that. Like, like oh, something so that won't too. actually affect them. That because they're zombies, no. but. That has this hurry up sound. The angle, it's entertaining for me. Mm-hmm. Well, at that point, you can just giggle because he failed so hard that he did a pose as he went up. He belly flopped. That's what he did. I think a 10 foot fall on your belly would. Ow! That's got a sting. And all of the ones marked with a yellow dot are prone. How much would it take me to smash that wall into the crowd? Don't, don't do that. Please don't do that. We still have to sleep here. We do need to sleep here. Actually, that one doesn't need a yellow dot because he's just... Oh. Dead. You can't no. see me. You can't hear me. You zero know we need to sleep here. Uh, you I... of all people being town guard know a securable position is the best position. I know so... nothing. Fine. You're right. Ah. So, Ravelin... I know All you nothing. see is Tavo empty something into his hand. You see a glitter, like coin or something shiny, and that's it. But the fact that he's doing this in the middle of combat is concerning. I mean, we don't exactly count our loot before we know we're going to get away with it. <laughs> At least I told Rav he had whatever was animating this guy. Yeah, I think I'm gonna, like, do a, a Dukes of Hazard over the bar here and try and knock that out of Tavo's hand. That bar has been Dukes of Hazard twice now. So, Ravelin, as you Dukes of Hazard over the bar, you see several purple crystals in his hand. Oh, I fail automatically. Rav, when you said that, I I honestly thought of uh, Rogers the Gambler. Like, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> you don't I, count, well, I just can we just take a, in the middle of combat. Can we just take a second to look at my acrobatics? Check. Literally the low from the lowest of lows to the highest of highs. And you don't have advantage. Uh. So yeah, knock them out of his hand and I will use um, my morning star. Do I have morning star? No, I just have a mace for bludgeoning Uh-oh. damage. I wanna break him. As you go to hit them, you hit them, and they don't break. Oh no! Can I do some kind of check to try and figure out why or what these are? Uh, They're like nothing you've ever seen. But you can try and roll an Arcana check. You have no idea. Could I try using the Hand of Radiance on them for radiant damage? Not anymore. You've used your action to hit them with the mace. Zero, your turn. I'm not going to be deterred from my uh, current objective of going help the Rebel Twins. 
So, Ash. Okay. Meru. Leroy twitches. Just going to move the blade a bit closer into him. Just. I just see Mara sitting there holding onto the sword. Leroy twitches. He smacks him. Stop that. <laughs> I am fading, though. The horses, by the way, seem very nervous again. Oh. So, Onus. Okay, uh, can I use my action to throw my sister back in through the window? Your sister's, like, right behind you. Stop throwing her! <laughs> okay, you push her through the window. You can. Make an athletics check. Kamari, you can make an acrobatics check. I don't think you can throw her this far, but I'll catch her. Also, I think you're in front of oh. him, not behind him, so... Can I Saronis? just parry and throw his butt through the window? Uh, I was about no. to say... I was about to say, as he goes to push you through the window, you sort of sidestep and he goes straight through. And that means I have no angle to shoot, so that's my turn. Well, you still have the rest of your movement. You, okay. You can, you can, can go back, back outside. outside. <laughs> Number one, don't touch my tail. Number two, I can handle myself. Thank you. <laughs> Number three, you don't look like it right now. Just, no, I get out there. I'm throwing you both back in here. <laughs> And that'll be at uh, that prone one. I know it's a disadvantage, but it really doesn't matter. Why not this be a disadvantage? This the closest. Yeah. It's an attack on a prone guy. Would that be an advantage? Disadvantage, disadvantage. because it's a ranged weapon. Oh. All right. Bonus action? Oh, no, that was your bonus action. Never yeah, my action was to try to... Brother, I'm Maybe. literally... I'm literally running inside. I'm running inside literally right now. Get inside. Go. Well, now you're both outside. And I have a way to deal with that. There's literally nothing my road and Yog at this point are going to be able to do, Fallen. I am Come struggling on. to stay conscious. I just gotta ask. I was letting you know if I suddenly vanish, I'm on a fell sick chair. Go to bed. Right. Go in through the window. Go to bed. Stupid brother. And then I yell, See, Roni, I went in through the window. You could just ask. Okay. And now for the interesting one. <laughs> Tavo. Eyes. Ravelin's close. Uh, eyes. 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 What, what, what do I do for this? Uh, make me an attack roll. What? What? Make me an unarmed attack roll. Uh, can I use my dagger? Da yeah, you can use your dagger. That's uh, nice. You fell. You, yep, she, he now wants Ravelin. He's muttering something about eyes, and he lunges a dagger towards your face. And what's 13? 13 Backswing. is, uh, you, ba basically, she sidesteps, and you... Bounce your head off of the table. Take a D8 points of damage. I'll take the one. Eh, you'll take the five because you rolled it. Dang it. Uh, eyes. 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 And that'll be Tavo's turn. They'll all spend their turn getting back up. Welcome. Thank you, Mayru. Uh, 
And this one walks up to you. Uh, goodbye now. Revelin. I uh, can you say that I fell prone? Nope. You just bounced your head off the table. You were still holding a dagger. Okay, I'm going to hand of radiance the gems. Uh, if I can step away from Tavo in order to do it so he doesn't get caught in uh, the five foot radius. Uh, you can, but he will get an attack of opportunity. And I will just continue to use my dagger. Uh, not if I bonus action disengage, he can't. Smart girl. <laughs> hey, hit it with necrotic damage too. No, I won't do that unless the. No, I'll just I'll just hand of radiance the the gems. As you do, they crack but don't break. Any change in Tavo? Nope. Zero. There's some odd noises coming from on the from the other side from around the bar, but there are zombies in front of you. Sorry. We're chewing cat, chewing plastic. There are zombies in front of you, but you're also hearing some weird noises from the other side of the bar. Kamari, please go check on Tavo and Rav. <sighs> you promise uh, you got this? Me and Serona's got this. Just be careful, okay? Of course. And I assume you are going to. Are you going to attack or brace for impact? Attack. Oh, you have two attacks. Can I hit them? Well, I mean, he's outside the window, so no. Um, Zero, I was just taking a step back, buddy. I you would. Can. What? Uh, you can't actually hit him from there. Oh, I'm saying you have tried. Wait. You're breaking up. One hour warning. Hitting. And then that's it. All right. Saronis. All righty. Gonna hop on my back, buddy. Nope. I'm actually going to step off to the side over here and once again suggest that you take a step back. I'm going to ask the mysterious voice in the sky if I can step back. Uh, how much movement did you use? It was so 15 feet. Yes, you can step back. And I will just have my gun trained on the first head that comes through that window. All right. Kamari. Um, I do not have... Oh, I do have my arbitrary cat go fast. Because I spent a turn not moving. Alright, I'm going to arbitrary cat go fast my way over as close as I can get to Linny and Tavo without using my full action. Don't make me do it, Fallen! 
Don't make me. So uh, I get extra Adam? movement because of arbitrary cat go fast. The yeah, arrows are still pointing at forty on my screen. Yep. No, that I was. That was me uh, showing forty foot. Yep. I have arbitrary cat go fast. Yep. Come on, you come up here. You see Tabo kind of shaking himself from the nice. table. And there's a knife in his Eyes. hand, and Ravelin looks a little concerned. Eyes. Eyes. Uh, Linny, what in the name of Tesca is going on? Can you do radiant damage? No. Then keep Tavo off me. Um, do I see the gems on the floor? You do see the gems on the floor. Okay, I can't believe I'm about to do this. I'm going to burn a spell slot and cast Identify. Oh, no. Make me a wisdom save. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Uh, palm, meat, forehead. It's the only thing I know what to do with a magical artifact. Leave me alone. Yeah, Rav asked you to deal with Tavo, and I'd like you to read the range on Identify really quick to yourself. Do I have to, I have to touch it, don't I? Even the description says you touch an item, which is why you use Detect Magic first, and then make sure you're properly set before identifying. It's oh, too, too late. late. Yep. Plus, doesn't identify require something with a gold piece value to cast it? Do you have that with you? Since when are we do? Since when? Actually, not, when? not if she not if she burns a spell slot. That's only if she it has a actually. That is part of the material, if I remember right, fallen. Is it? Whether you use a spell slot or not, identify has a gold piece value material cost. Meaning you can't use your oh, focus oh, for oh. it. I'm opening it to make sure, though. It does. It's a hundred gold piece. Uh, yeah, it's a pearl, and we do not have that. Oh, so maybe she's safe? And it also takes a minute to cast, anyways. Okay, then never mind. All right. am, am I allowed to take that back, GM? Yes. Knowing that you have not sent me anything yet. Restrain me. Can I... Can I try and knock Tavo out? Like, punch him in the head? Sure. Give me an unarmed attack. <laughs> hey, at least oh, it's a person in him. Tavo! It won't have to be slashing. Nope. Uh, are you sure you wanted to do it with the fire damage? Because at that point, it's not knocking him out. It's actively hurting him. Oh. I, I still have two spell, spell slots. I'm going to knock him the heck out. <laughs> oh. You don't hit him. Boogers. But I punched at him. Tavo! Kamari has such <laughs> lovely eyes. Oh. Uh. Eyes. Eyes! Miss. Thank God. I'm sorry! Yes, Tavo, they're lovely. Hands off. <laughs> Make your attack roll, Saronis. Does the spell okay. weaken? Does the spell weaken on me when uh? Does actually never mind. Shut up! I'm not gonna say it. On, I'm gonna message you. The answer is no. It is not getting any weaker. I think that is the worst shot I've made all night, at least damage-wise. I thought you were going to take care of them as they came through the window. Zero, don't be a turd. Well, that shot was a turd. That shot was a turd. Hush up, crazy eyes. I'll take yours next. <laughs> Ravelin. Again, with the Hand of Radiance. Uh, 
this making time, sure I stay away from Kamari. Remember, you can choose to target, meaning you don't have to leave. Yeah. This time they break, but Tavo still has this deranged look in his eyes. 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 Zero. Hold up. I still have actions. All right. Party is currently level five or six. 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 If I take the dash action, can I use that to, like, bull rush Tavo and, like, try and knock him over? Uh, I'll let you try and try and tackle him. Do you want to oppose skill roll, or how do we want to do that? Uh, opposed athletics checks. Can I use acrobatics? No. Hate you. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Congratulations. Headshot. You basically <laughs> ended up grappled with Tavo. That gives me advantage on my attacks, doesn't it? Tomorrow you knock him out! Zero? Oh, okay. There's now a lot of very disturbing uh, yelling coming from the bar. Uh. And let's just say Tavo has started shouting eyes. We got this, big man. Just focus on the zombies, please. You, you two weren't in the best of health. We're good. I left. We got this. How long would it take? Uh, if I moved up, I could hit both of them, right? Yes. And I would still get two attacks, because I'm not sweeping, I'm just... Yep. Thank you. Smash, smash. That's one hit. That didn't happen. That didn't happen. That happened. Roll it. Happened. D100 roll. Oh. You basically knock the first one out, go to step and hit the second one, and slip on the broken glass. You are now prone. For us, don't you let any of them on me. Saronis. Okay. That guy there. He's still standing. Now he's not. <laughs> and I'm just going to kind of half stand over Zero. So you put yourself in the window. Got it. Yes. I am literally... They will not get to him. You are the window. One second. You Making sure this shall is not pass. Also, I appreciate you not laughing at watching my big ass uh, part of my language. Well, you are a big man, so. 
and that's a really long fall. Oh, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Boo! On the glass. Unless you have the Ninja Turtles, then it's the more bones they break. It's been on Ninja Turtles. How is, uh, how, well, while we wait for Sorry, how was, uh, how was the new, uh, Turtle game? I can see the situation, right? You see Turtle what game? looks like Tavo grappling with Ravelin, and Tavo is holding a knife. And, and I'm ranting like, I see eyes. the situation. Yes. Sorry, not sorry, Tavo. Don't put me down. Yeah. That doesn't hit. Actually, no, it does. I'm being grappled. It is technically uh, double disadvantage, so it still doesn't count. Yeah. Uh, and so, unless an 18 hits you, Tavo, it doesn't hit. Which actually means you got something worse, which is why I'm apologizing. I've attacked something. Yog. Tackle. Fluffy headbutt, knock him out. More like police dog takedown. Yeah. It, it's the classic thing of okay, Ross, Satan, get him. The crime. I need to find that after this if I'm still conscious enough. I love that image. Well, that's a hit. Tabo, strength save. Come on, that one. Or at least under a 13. I go down! Yogg takes you down and inflicts 10 damage. That's part of the reason I was saying sorry. I am your humanoid. I can't turn that off. Kamari? Yogg has just come out of nowhere and police take down Tavo. Good girl. Eyes! I recommend Ice. restraining him. Yeah! Restrain. Right. We got tired once. I have rope. <laughs> I have rope. I'm going to tie him up with rope. Because <laughs> I have rope. It's a thing that I have. I want to tie him up. Uh, All right. Rope. Sound too eager about this. <laughs> make me an athletics check with advantage. Tavo, you make me an opposed athletics check with disadvantage. You managed to successfully tie up Tabo. No, 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 no. I am hard tying him. His hands and his ankles are tied together behind his back. His face is on the floor. He is not getting up. Yep. You have it a right. You have the right to remain silent. <laughs> if you cannot afford a attorney, an attorney, one will be appointed to you. I, I'm saying. Yep. You have not gotten free. Um, and I put my foot between his shoulder blades. Ow! Do you guys establish a safe word? No. <laughs> the safe word is police brutality. Sorry, I had to still a payday line. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I found my second win. <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> well done, Zero. Thank you. Thank you. Party. Oh, God. All right. Serenus. <laughs> yes. No. No? Uh, yes. <laughs> no! no. Wait, yes, yes, no. Ouch, by the way. Tom, oh. are you okay? <laughs> I wasn't expecting Hold on. <laughs> One more. Oh. Me. <laughs> I got tears in my eyes on that. <laughs> That was that was so well done. Well played, my friend. Well played. 
I just okay. got to... Oh, that was beautiful. Revelin. It's not going anywhere. Doesn't look like it. And he tries, Yalog isn't oh, no. getting off of him. There's a good chance he's rising right now. Yeah, <laughs> bad. Bad. <laughs> can I use can a piston check to determine where to hit him to knock him out, to actually knock him out without actually doing more damage? Um, well, give me a wisdom check. Medicine is wisdom. Uh, just give me a wisdom, uh, wisdom check. Well, the reason I was thinking medicine was because if I could hit a pressure point that would knock him out, that's what I was kind of going for. Well, there's a reason for that. Uh-oh. Gee, I'm typing. This is going to be good. I mean, I'm already hogtied with the Kamari and the Yogg on me. So do the Afore. Just my foot. I mean, that I thought that was Zero's thing. <laughs> what? <sighs> do I know what would do that, Paul? to have that prepared, don't I? Um... Yes. Yeah. I don't. So, I'm gonna knock him out. If you're wanting what I think you're wanting, Fallen, just by our level, I don't think anyone has what you're looking for. Yes, I do. It's a level one spell. It is in my repertoire, but I do not have it prepared. Yeah. Protection from evil and good actually would uh, remove Make... it. Yeah. If a creature is already charmed, yeah. then they get advantage on a new saving throw. Yeah, but it doesn't, doesn't actually end remove immediately. it. You, we would need to like, remove curse, which we would have if anyone was a pure caster. Yeah, I mean, to but be fair, it would still on, allow him fairness. to actually make a saving throw against I mean, him. I mean, to cast up, I wouldn't go so far as uh, Yeah, uh, I, 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 I didn't get, through, I didn't yeah. get him saving throw. Won't do it? Huh? Knocking him out won't do it? Well, knocking him out will definitely do something. Because he probably won't be charmed when he gets back up again. It, it breaks the spell. Again, you're not 100% sure what all's going on. He just... From what your limited wisdom can tell you, he seems to be under the effect of some kind of compulsion. Yeah. So I'm going to render the compulsion null and void by rendering him unconscious. The power of pain compels you to sleep. The power, the power, the power of Rose, the power of Rose compels you. Oh. Night, night, Tavo. I'm actively surprised that artificers don't get that spell. Oh, well, it's very you depressing, knock, Harry. You do knock him out. You basically put him in a rear naked choke until he stops moving. I, 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 Wait, I, 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 yes. I, no, you you manage not to cause any permanent harm, but he is definitely unconscious. At which Tavo starts snoring. Yeah. Don't untie him, Kamari. We want to make sure when he wakes up that he's not still um, <laughs> going to go for the eyes. You got it, Winnie. Anything you say. 
You good? Yeah. I really don't like horror stories. Well, that question. Well, this no, how about you? Hmm, what was that? Are you good? I'm most likely going to stay sitting on him until he wakes up. Oh, uh, does anyone okay want to take this. my seat on the on uh, our big boy in there? He's still kind of twitching. Actually, is yeah, he still I'll go twitching? hit him with some radiant damage. Actually, is he still down. twitching now that now that the uh, things are destroyed? You don't know. Uh, are you doing anything else, Rabalin? Yeah, I'm gonna go take Mara's place by. Leroy and hit him with some radiant damage on my next okay. turn because it's going to take me the rest of this turn and next turn to get to him. Okay, go ahead and move yourself. Zero, you're able to get back up. Yep, I'm up. I'm up. Uh, hmm. I. There is a raised eyebrow from um, Theronis. What? Like you've never slipped and fallen on two? Glass. Shark Ronis. Okay, he deliberately jumped in the water when he became Shark Ronis. It doesn't count. Catfish. <laughs> and, uh, hey, Tavo, you're not part of this conversation. You're snoring there, kid. So he's kind of in the window. I can't exactly. You cannot. Be well,. You can hold an action until I get my uh, fluffy tail out of the way. How I'll let much? you make an attack, but it'll be at disadvantage. How much for that kitty? No, I, I will take a step back, and I will hold action. All right. Saronis. Okay. Rogue Kitty disengage. I'll take the attack of opportunity. Okay. So, one yes. Uh, what is your split currently? 3-3? Three, three? Yeah. Uh... Why they recommend something? Because I still think you have your superiority die. I do. Can potentially make that one hit a miss. True. Yeah, I'll spend a one. We are nearing the end of the fight, so may as well waste what else we have left. Yeah, go ahead and roll your your d8. That's enough to make a miss. All right. And I'm assuming you're going to shoot them. Oh, yeah. Payback's coming. That to the turd who just hit me. Uh, that's pretty much to the one right. You can't see the ones from the left or right of the window. They could just attack you while you're in the window. Yeah. And can I see him or him? You can see the one directly behind the guy you just shot. Well, did he see that coming? Uh, he did. It was the last thing he ever saw. <laughs> Go to sleep. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Meru. As I said, I actively have to dash to do it, but eh, just quickly hobble over and pretty much just sit on Tavo. I'm assuming Yogg is going to stand there mildly growling at Tavo. Is Yogg, is Yogg still biting me? Well, he's still hold, Yogg is still holding on to whatever limb they they grabbed. Just in case you try to get free and start running, Yogg still has a firm grasp. 
<sighs> you want to take me out of turn order because I'm out unconscious? Kamari! My arbitrary cat go fast has recharged. It's like, uh, I got him, you go help them. Yep. <laughs> arbitrary cat go fast. I went from sitting on a big bed, big bed, and a BBEG to sitting on a partner. Out the window at whoever I can see. I think that's this guy? Yep. Does a 25 hit? A 25 hits. Can Bravo. I? Oh no, oh, I can't boy. act. Can I, can I hold Zero's flamethrower? Uh... Yes, I'll let you hold okay. hold Zero's playing through his reaction. Tavo, make me a make me a con save. Sir, coming right up. That is an eighteen. When I hear nothing, I go to my uh, I go to my DMs. Um, hey, big man. And a hot mm -hmm. man. Watch your beard. Right. What did that con save do? Watching. I'm pretty sure it's a save three times. You wake up because you now have a green one on you, Talvo. All right. Ooh, shakalaka. Oh, give me a second. Do the zombies still have their eyebrows? Because I'm pretty sure they won't after this. All right. Okay, so you'll hit one, two, three, four, five, six out of the eight. The ones immediately on the other side of the window will not get hit by the fire. Works for me. Let's make sure we don't burn this place down around our ears. Just waiting to see if there are any uh, still standing and alive within range, and I'm going to swing. Answer to your question is no. No, there are not. <laughs> Ravelin. Okay, so I move 30 feet. And then I believe that puts me within 30 feet of him. Yep. Is he moving? He doesn't seem to be. Okay. Then I won't bother about hitting him with bolts from the grave. I will use my cutting action to move the other 30 feet, and then I'm going to hit him with the radiant damage, like I told Marrow I would. Okay. Although the others beside him seem to sort of sizzle and burn, he just lays there. 
All right, well, I made sure. I'll stay here and babysit. Zero. I, I can't. I, you can still hold your action for, to swing when they get back up. Yeah. Okay. Saronis. Okay. You so, have no line of you have no line of sight on on any standing zombies. All right. Oh wait, yes you do. There's one at the very back. Okay, I'm going to bonus section aim at his head. Really? I get 13 damage out of that? Do you eh. more, do you, that's pretty good. Meru and Yogg? Did Thravelin make the reasoning known to Meru and Kamari for the fact that how he was acting? I should say the compulsion. Nope. Neither of them Told, told you what was going on. I wasn't asking if Kamari said because Kamari wouldn't know either. Ravelin was the one who made the check fallen. Yep, and Ravelin didn't say anything about the crystals. I wasn't saying about the crystals. No, I did specifically mention that we, you know, if you woke up talking about eyes, I can't remember exactly what I said, but I did mention Tavo saying stuff about eyes. I'm just trying to figure out if I know if, like, it's some kind of possession or anything like that. No, because I wouldn't. I, I don't know what's going on. All I knew was that I needed him unconscious because I couldn't cast a spell that would make him not yeah. be ranting about eyes. I was asking because I went through my spell list again. It's a ritual, but it just means I'm stuck sitting on him while casting it for the next minute. Yeah, might as well. Is it ritual 10 minutes? Yeah, it's a ritual basically times it, times is the duration by 10, or the yeah. cast of time. Since it's an action, it's 6 seconds, meaning I just made it a minute. Well, it, it, become, it would become 10 minutes, but you have yeah. time to do it. So you're, st we'll say you start that ritual. Anywhere. Yeah, we'll say you start that ritual. Kamari! Can I hold my action for when they get up? You can. Just just my fire bolt. I don't need to hold my flamethrower because I don't want to steal all Zero's kills. That would be mean. Yes, you can. Tavo, con save. On its way. Nope. Speaking of... Zero, swing your hammer. Are you sweeping or just hitting? I mean sweep. Sweeping? Yeah. I'm not really sure you can call that sweep being giving the angle you have. At that point, you're just slamming it down on both of them. Hey, squishy bye-bye is still a thing. Can I shoot him 
shoot the one through the window now? You can. And you can still use your turret if you like. I thought I only got to hold one. I'll give it to you. Okay. The, these are literally the last three zombies on the map. Uh, um, I'll give uh, it to you. Yeah. Nope. Beer, in beer. Slightly faster. Please. Hey, sorry. I mean, you can, we can just go through that they are dispatched because we're pretty... Yeah. We can handily take care of two zombies. Yeah, and one more. So, so like, he's dead. Yeah. Yeah, they're dead. Uh, Hold on. Meant to do this. So the party is able to actually dispatch all of the zombies. And there's a moment of tense silence before, well... You hear snoring. Everything kind of continues quietly. Beside the uh, lumber mill that I'm sitting on. <laughs> I seriously hate scary stories. And once the adrenaline's gone and he's able to think clearly, Sonus is just sitting in the corner staring at his pistol. Kamari looks back and forth between the group over at Tavo. Zero, Seronis, and just goes, <sighs> just sits on the floor. What, what does Zero do? Uh, really quick, Fallen, can you like move the undead from the main doorway just so we can see how much got stopped by Rathlin and Yog? Because I know they started piling up on top of each other about halfway through that. So, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-one. Well, it's still twenty-one. Twenty-one. There's 22. 22. 22. 22 to zombies. Rad ah, held ah, 22 of them back until Zero could deal with them. Ah. 22 <laughs> zombies. Ah, ah, ah. I mean, to be fair, I was helping too. At least until I decided to try to lead them away. And yeah, shoot up. So right. so well, they were holding them back, and you were mostly just picking them off to keep them from overflowing. How many zombies uh. were there in total? You know? Uh, a lot. Way too many. Over 100, you think? No. Heck no. Him, there's about 50 on the map. And a chunk of them are right there at the doorway. I mean, there's I also just, a lot I of bodies. Chunks of them all over the place. There's also a lot of bodies missing from the radiant damages. Yeah, I dispatched quite a few. <sighs> I'm going to go check on Kamari. <laughs> the flamingo turret. Can I work on blocking this doorway again with something? Yep, you push. You can push the barricade back up fairly easily. As the party kind of. I'm assuming. As the party sort of settles in, they rebarricade all the windows and everything. Oh yeah. Maybe throw some of the zombies outside. <laughs> or or, or build you know. a or build a wall of zombies. There's enough of them. Roll me twenty d ten. We're not Spartans. <laughs> Who? Hey! You find a hundred copper. Ooh, we found one gold. 
without a gold coin. Rabelin, you also notice uh, Leroy's cleavers are remarkably well balanced and effect and just they're some of the best craftsmanship you've ever seen. They are two d eight plus. Uh, they are two d eight finesse weapons. Oh, Rav has two daggers. Well, they're not quite daggers, but yeah, they do 2d8 but plus... But uh, they, they might as well be. Yeah, they are finesse weapons, and they do 2d8 damage. Ravelin Dragon Annoyer, the slayer of enemies. <laughs> or I should say the butcher. The wrath of my cleaver. Well, there are two of them. Because they're finesse weapons, but they don't count as light. Well, technically, I think they would have to count as... No, they do not, as rapier. Yeah, they do not count as light. If Ravlin ever takes the proper dual wielder feet for those, just... Rav the Butcher. Yeah. <laughs> the party, uh, in their exhaustion, eventually does fall asleep. Uh, I, I'm just gonna... Put... I'm just going to put this up there first before I act. I have to go lay down soon, so... Well, I we're mean, getting we're, ready to end done. it, so... Yeah, we're going to be done, but... And as the party... Farewell! Farewell! Ow! Farewell! Ow! Ow. Sorry! I'm dying! The fangirl in me is dying! <laughs> um, roll, Everyone roll me initiative again real quick. No. <laughs> I don't think anyone really wants to roll initiative. Do I go at the 11 or the 23? The 11. So, Kamari, you're the first one to kind of come to. You kind of come up with a jerk. Kind of inadvertently headbutting Zero in the chin. I didn't actually roll there, Fallen. Oh, go ahead and roll. I'm assuming, however, you're not going to beat a, a nat 20. Uh, no. You only take the first one. This isn't an actual combat initiative. This is just seeing who wakes up first. Don't worry, Yogg. Uh, Let's say Yogg wakes up together. Uh, uh, yeah. I figured I wouldn't beat the nat 20 even with that, but still, let's... So, Kamari, you wake up accidentally catching Zero in the chin. Which startles Yogg, who wakes up Tavo. Tavo, you remember what happened right up until the point you got hogtied. After that, everything gets kind of fuzzy. What's going on here? Huh? Rav! Rav! He's, <laughs> shh, shh, I think Tavo. he's still hogtied. Tavo, hush. I'm going to... Kamari, are you okay? Did I, did... Shh, Tavo, shut up! I'm gonna extricate myself from Zero's grip. Why am I? And I feel make... like him yelling woke up the rest of the party. Um, <laughs> actually, the only ones that don't wake up are Rav and you, Saronis. You yeah. two are just unconscious. I just imagine Mayru is just sitting there against the wall, staring at Tavo. Because he so runs up to the point he got hogtied, which means he hears Mayru say, I am sorry, and then Yogg, take down. I'm sorry, Kamari. Padre, you is, scared me. Is Rav okay? Did I get her? She's fine. She's all right, I promise. I don't know what came over me. I just... Okay, what did you do? There, 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 there was this bag around the big, around the big guy, in the kitchen, and and I took it. And I opened it, and and I put it in my hands, and then all of a sudden, I just had okay. the idea of. Why, why, that why, why wouldn't anyone want? Why would anyone want to? Ha what, what? Why wouldn't people want to have their eyes removed? I, the, the everyone should have their eyes removed, and, and so. When Rav came over, 
I thought I, I w- thought I was doing good with the eyes and, and. Shh. Okay. Okay, Padre. Next time, don't go poking magical things. It's kind of like what I do. Granted, if it done that to him, would it just him touching it? That would have done the same to you. I would have checked it first. I'm I'm sorry, amateur. I know. I, In I any know case, I, I know, why I did you, you open too. it? I don't know. I, I just want it. It's okay, Padre. It's all right. We're Whatever all was in there was able to was seemingly able to keep that guy going. No matter how many times me and you put him down, he stood back up until you removed that. What else but some insane magical power would be in that bag? It's okay, Padre. We all make mistakes. Just don't just, don't it, go poking magic artifacts anymore, is, please. Is Rav okay? She's fine. She's out cold somewhere. Most likely still with his body. His Gross. last thing I asked her to do was make sure he didn't stand back up again. Hey, um, I'm gonna go check on Roni, make sure he's okay. not. Hey, uh, Ra- hey. Uh, normally I like you. Uh, normally I like your knots, but these are really starting to hurt. Oh, right. <laughs> right. I untie him. Davo, it takes you a good five minutes to get the feeling back in your limbs as, they, as your arms and legs have very quickly gone to sleep on you. And I, I just start, I just like start walking around, like shaking it out. Well, it takes you a good five minutes before you're even able to stand up because you have no feeling. Yikes. Your arms and legs were above, basically above your head at all yeah. times. For the duration of a long rest. You had eight hours for that to go completely oh, dead. Yes. Wow. Yes, you guys have had a long rest. <laughs> God bless you, Fallen. And as the and as the party kind of looks out, they see the pale light of day. It's probably around ten o'clock. But the first thing anyone notices as they're kind of looking outside is Something's up with the cart. Oh no. Can I go investigate the cart? Do we, do we have a possessed cart? Sure. Zero? Oh. What you notice is that. Well, it looks like a good chunk of your rations have gone missing. We would have brought the rations inside. Mm. Yeah, we, we said that, that anything that we could, we brought inside. Well, I didn't figure you would bring all the rations in. Because that's a couple of weeks worth. Yeah. You also uh, notice a pair of small footprints leading up to the wagon, and then leading away. Obviously, weighed down on the way out. I'm going to relay this information to the, uh, the rest of the party. And on that, that we way. may have a thief. Wait. Someone's been living here? I'm still waiting to be told I woke up. Well, I, I when I when I what? could get up when I could get up I would have gone over to Rav, and just been like, "Hey, Rav, I, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry." Well, hold on. About the time that that zero comes in is when you guys would have woken up. But Saronis, you get woken up by what I can only describe as a mildly panicked uh, Ravelin. Because the first thing she sees when she wakes up is is Tavo kind of with a hand out try, trying to apologize. Like, I'd be on my knees and everything. Um. Whoa, you took a buck out of me. chances of smacking him. Huh? 
I wake up to see Tavo kind of like leering oh, over me. Very what are high. the chances of very actually high. Hit him? Very uh, high. Give, give me I an unarmed attack. Fuck guys out with a dagger. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Go ahead and give me an unarmed attack. High chance of boot to jaw. I don't have an unarmed attack. In uh, just here. roll a d20 plus your strength mod. To plus zero. Awesome. Uh, proficiency bonus? No. So I guess it's just a flat d20 for you. That does not hit. You wouldn't have slept in your armor, I don't think. Yeah, well, he you did because you guys left him tom tied. So, uh, Saronis, you I wake up this, to... I... He, he doesn't have armor on his face. Huh? I will, I will say this. On his face. <laughs> I will say this. I actually, I actually lean into it and let it, and let it strike. Like, okay. yeah, I well, deserve it. You... All right. Well, you take one damage, but Saronis, you get woken up as there's suddenly a violent jerking next to you as Ravelin comes up, kind of freaking out and kicking wildly. And as you come to, you see her kicking... Tavo in the face. No, just just a single slap upside the head, you know. This game was fun. Can I join in? Shut up. Shut up for a butt. Oh, you're next. You shot me. <laughs> Which, by the way, Sironis is shocked that Ravelin is anywhere near him after that. You're Cause... fuzzy and I was cold. <laughs> Alright, it, it, it's, uh... It's all yeah, I gotta go. And on that, we yeah. should call it. In any case, yes, we'll leave off with with uh, Zero coming in and announcing that there is a thief and Kamari's exclamation that somebody has been living here. And give me a sec. Let me just take us out. We are out. All right, guys. Thank you all. It's been a blast. Uh, this this game is brought to you by Roll20. Um, don't forget to use uh, use our code SCARSUP to save 10% off on everything at Roll20. All right, guys. It's been a blast. Remember these three awesome three things. One, st you are awesome. You matter. Two, stay out of melee range. And three, God loves gamers. Good night, everyone.